Welcome to the Tears and Miracles podcast, an audio diary of a young woman who is a follower of Christ, called to hear from the Lord and share with the world. Tune in regularly to hear the latest episode, and you can also find her content on YouTube under the same name, Tirza Miracles. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Tears of Miracles. And uh, today I just want to bring you a word that I received recently, uh, just on February 1st. Uh, And I'm calling it Each Grain of Sand. So as always, uh, I'll just jump straight into what I wrote down in my journal for that day. And uh, for this day, it was particularly interesting because he sort of uh, began by reminding me of something he'd given me before, just by bringing a few phrases to mind. Um, And it turns out that it's actually from episode eight. So the words that came to mind uh, at that time were, as I had told you before, this is a soon coming reign, sovereign that I may behold my work of many generations, intact and in one place, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. I had told you this before, remember? This is the work I am hastening to do, to perform my word to you and to all of mankind, really. The return of the owner of the vineyard that was rented out to poor, unworthy husbandmen, poor stewards, Here, uh, the immediate passage that came to mind is that uh, parable of the wicked husbandman. And the scripture reference there is uh, Matthew 21, verses 33 to 46. Then I continue to hear, I am coming back to claim my inheritance. It is only a matter of time. And time races on. Tick tock, tick tock. Running hasting on to accomplish my will. Sands of time, one grain at a time. But there is no pause. Though it has felt long, stagnant at times, there has been a reason for what appears to be a delay. Each grain of the sands of time brought into fulfillment my will for that moment in time. Each grain, like a drop of water, drip, 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 but each drip has a purpose. Um, And here he brought to mind a passage uh, in Isaiah 55 verses 10 to 12, which I'll read. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So we hasten on, I continue to hear, running, speeding along. Though it feels slow, a lot is being accomplished with each grain of sand, as if that grain contained a set of instructions to complete before the next grain could fall. Due time, appointed time. Each grain encapsulates events that will take place, and all must be accomplished that is written or spoken by me. Not one word shall fall to the ground. All must be fulfilled. Like the development of a child in the womb, each week something new is happening. From conception, implantation, to the growth of organs and limbs, Each week in the trimester marks a milestone. So also, each grain of sand of time marks a milestone, the accomplishment of my will upon the earth. And it hastens with zeal to perform my word. 
although the period of time seems long. Why tell you this? When you see these things begin to happen, rejoice first of all and look up. Change your perspective and see things from my viewpoint, for your redemption draws nigh. And here he was bringing to mind the passage in Luke 21, uh, which speaks of Christ's return, specifically verses 25 to 28, which says, And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Then I continue to hear, These are the things spoken of before that are happening as prophesied. Wars pestilence, famine, distress of nations, all signs of my return. Although your present circumstances may not lead you to rejoice, yet rejoice, for your redemption, my coming, draws near. And so that was the end of the words that he gave me. But just as I was sitting there kind of thinking about what I was hearing, uh, a song came to mind called El Shaddai. The part that came to mind was, Through the years you made it clear that the time of Christ was near, though the people failed to see what Messiah ought to be, though your word contained the plan, they just could not understand. Your most awesome work was done, through the frailty of your son. And so I actually started to sing to the song and um, listen to it on my phone, um, just because I hadn't heard it in such a long time. I think it was very relevant to what he was telling me. Uh, and I think uh, that's why he wanted me to include it in this message as well. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I thought it was so beautiful how he was speaking about time as if it's like an hourglass um, and each grain of sand falling and how that all is rushing to accomplish his will. I was actually really surprised when I read it back because I was like, this is very, the way it's written is very poetic. And I'm definitely not gifted in that area, so <laughs> it was really beautiful for me to read again. But most importantly, I hope that the message uh, that he was sharing resonates with you and that it encourages you in these difficult times that we're facing. This is why I believe that he has us um, sharing these words uh, to encourage one another so that we can continue on the journey. And so with that, I, I pray that you have a blessed evening or day, wherever, whatever time you're listening to this. Uh, and until next time, take care and God bless.